Chapter 11, A Dangerous Proposition The country was ablaze with violence. Explosions rocked markets, leaving gruesome scenes of human carnage. Fratricide became disturbingly common. Banks fell prey to ruthless robbers, who brazenly stormed in during broad daylight, taking lives and money with them. Terrifying threats silenced those who considered reporting these crimes to the police, leaving the government oblivious to the extent of the chaos spreading across the nation. The saboteur's ultimate goal was to stoke hatred among the country's various provinces, Sindhi, Punjabi, Balochi, Patan, Mahajur, Kashmiri, pitting them against each other in a deadly game. Civil war seemed imminent, and the saboteurs intended to exploit this internal strife, aided by foreign support and numerous terrorist organizations. At the highest echelons of power, authorities were desperately searching for a solution. A strict order was issued to crack down on illegal weapons and punish those found in possession of them. On a Friday, after offering prayers at the city's Grand Mosque alongside his father, Zishan received permission to visit his friend Tarek's house, where they engaged in video games. Amid their gaming banter, Zishan used, Tarek, there should be a video game where the police battle saboteurs, and I'll top the leaderboard, eliminating every last one of them. Their playful mission to destroy saboteurs was interrupted when Tarek's servant informed them that Zishan had received a phone call. Zishan assumed it was from his mother or father, inquiring about his well-being. However, it turned out to be a stranger on the line. Who are you? Zishan questioned. Think of me as a shadow lurking around your home, the mysterious caller responded. Uneasy, Zishan inquired, why did you call me? Because your father's life is in jeopardy, the caller replied. Zishan's heart raced as he asked, what do you mean? It means we can obliterate your father with a single bomb any time we please, the voice on the other end threatened. You won't even find a trace of his body. If you wish to spare your father's life, do a simple task for us. Fear gripped Sishan. He struggled to speak, his body drenched in sweat. What do you want? It's a minor task for you, a trifling one, the caller said. There's a file in your father's room containing a comprehensive plan to eradicate the saboteurs. Get us a photocopy of that file. No, I can't do that. Zishan protested, his voice trembling. Lower your voice, came the stern response. You wouldn't want anyone overhearing our conversation. If you refuse, your father will meet his end tomorrow evening. This is your final chance. Steal that file and have it photocopied by tomorrow evening near the photostat machine near your home. Otherwise, your father's lifeless body will arrive at your doorstep tomorrow evening. The call abruptly ended, leaving Zishan in turmoil. He hung up, returned to Tarek's house, and could barely focus. Tarek inquired, whose call was that? It was my father, Zishan lied nervously, unable to confide in his friend any further. After leaving Tarek's house, he returned home, lay on his bed, and agonized over the difficult decision he had to make. In the end, he made up his mind to steal the file. <laughs>